Mark flood damage and bank armoring on the right. Mark a gravel deposit on the left and wood debris in both areas. Tributary confluence on the left. Mark an OHV bridge, then right bank armoring. The road appears less than 10 meters from the water and there's virtually no riparian buffer here. Mark more gravel deposits and a confluence of a small tributary on the right. Mark more flood damage on the right bank adjacent to the road. Mark woody debris left and woody debris right. Sartorus or Lynx Creek Road is running parallel to the creek all along this area on the right bank. Mark a braided area and mark woody debris in it. More woody debris right. We're seeing numerous gravel deposits and bars on alternating banks along here. Mark a historic floodplain area on the right with a small flood channel. We're going to need to check for left bank flood damage here on our way out. Mark woody debris, then mark an inside bend gravel deposit area with woody debris. And here's the confluence of Lynx and Goat Creeks with Goat Creek entering on the right bank.